Hi guys, how are you? I'm Tina and today we're going to create two popular messy bun hairstyles and I've also teamed up with Watchable so I could recreate one of my favorite hairstyles from their How To 100 Years of Beauty series, which is a show you can watch online for free either on the app or are on the website. But I accepted this collaboration with Watchable because I really love the concept of showing people how to do the makeup and hairstyles of the most iconic beauties around the world while telling you what made these women so inspiring. So after watching the first episode, I wanted to recreate one of the updos worn by Frida Kahlo. I'm gonna divide my hair in half, and then with this side, I'm gonna make a regular ponytail, and then I'm gonna pull up my bangs, because I want this to be more lived in looking than what is shown in the show, and pull out some hair here. It's just to create more texture and to make it messier. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this red scarf, and then I'm gonna loop it through the elastic here, and then fold this in half and wrap it around itself. And then what I'm going to do is divide my own hair into two sections. And the silk scarf is going to be the third section and then just do a regular braid. And I'm not wearing hair extensions today. I think the girl in the show was. She might not be. She might just have really naturally thick hair. But I was just too lazy to put them in because my hair is just so dirty. So we're going to braid all the way down and then just tie it up. Cute. It's not bad, right? Now, if I had, oh, my shirt is just going crazy. Now, if I had my hair extensions in, I would have done the crisscross in the back to wrap it around, but my hair is not long enough or thick enough for that. So what we're gonna do is take our braids and just tie it at the top. And then we're gonna tuck the scarf around the hair. And I really like Frida's hairstyle because of the flower arrangement on our crown. So to recreate that exact look, I went to Amazon and got the big flowers. And when it arrived, that big flowers ended up being these tiny, tiny flowers. Now be sure to check out the 100 Years of Beauty. I'm gonna leave a direct link down below for you guys. And if you're already watching Watchable, leave me a comment down below with what your favorite shows are. What you're gonna do is first make a side part and then clip out all the side on the heavy side. So from my part to the back of my ear, I'm going to clip this away. And then I'm gonna put the rest into a high ponytail. So I'm going to grab another elastic, then tie it as if I'm making another ponytail. But on the last loop, you're going to pull it through, but not all the way. So you have some hanging. And then you're going to fan this part out. And then I'm going to wrap the ends around the base before pinning. So leave that alone. And then with this piece, what you're going to do is take all of this, then pull it straight back. Smooth it down a little bit, and then you're going to just do a normal braid. So split it into three, cross it over to do a normal braid. Pull up the sides a bit to bend it out. Fire. It takes a heart. Now for this part, we're going to just pull on the top a little bit to make the crown a little fuller. Pull out the sides to soften up the messy bun. And then when this is dry, we're going to fold this over across the top. And then we're going to, and then we're going to pin the braid at the base of the ponytail. And I'm also going to pin here so it doesn't stick straight up. Now as for the bun, what we're going to do is just fan it out, pull on the sides to make it bigger. So if you see any skin when you have dark hair, what you can do is just uh, fill it in with some eyeshadow or just smooth it because this is caused by tight hair. So if you loosen it up a bit, you should get rid of the line. And if you want, you can pin the sides of the messy bun. Oh. 
And as for our third and last hairstyle, we're doing the upside down double dutch braid into a very messy bun. So first, we're going to put our hair in a half up ponytail. So we're gonna flip our head upside down and then take out some hair at the bottom, divide it into three and cross it over the middle. Add in some hair from the right to the right piece and put it in the middle. Take some hair from the left side, add it to the left piece and put it under the middle. Again, we're going to take some hair from the right side, add it to the right piece then we're going to put this in the middle. Some hair from the left side, put it in the left strand, put it under the middle. Okay, so we're just going to repeat this over and over, all the way towards the Bessie bun. all of these pieces and make one big ponytail at the top. And then before removing the elastic used on the braids, you first have to check the back to make sure the braids aren't twisted. So the, the easiest messy bun for me is just twisting it, scrunching it upwards while holding a piece of strand at the bottom, wrapping it around the top, and after it's been pinned, I'm going to mess it up because right now it's looking too neat on it. Now before I fix the bun, I'm going to first pull out the front hair a little bit to make it fuller because that looks better normally. And we're done! If you guys liked all the hairstyles from today, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more hairstyles. And I'll see you guys again next Friday or Thursday. I gotta figure out the upload date. I mean, what day would be best for you guys? Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys. Bye! This is too big. Oops, too grandma-ish. Too much. So I'm gonna do it again. Pull it through half. Oh, okay, I don't like this bun either. Oops. Oops. Oh, I'm really having a bad messy bun day. Not using bobby buns. <laughs> I look like a plant. Okay, this is not happening. Thanks for watching.